This is a short video to address the issue of cross stave beaming in MuseScore. Now as I set up my stave you'll notice that I'm selecting a piano score because I have only discovered it to work successfully in a piano score so I'm going to show you a bit of a workaround here. Just a couple of bars so we can get the idea and I'm entering a T ticker which I'm wanting to cross between two staves and I'm wanting to use this more as a print score than as a playback score so that's the purpose of this video. So I enter my notes here on the treble stave and to force a note to go across a stave I select it by clicking on it you'll see it turns blue then by holding Control, Shift and the down arrow, you will notice that it will flip down to the base. Now, as this is a percussion part I'm designing, I right click and under my stave properties, I change the number of lines to one and I apply this and you'll notice now my treble stave of piano only has one line. Right click, stave part properties and change my lines to one. Apply, okay. My bass line also only has one. I then reposition the notes by clicking on them and either dragging them up or down. Here I'm just using the arrow key Here I'm selecting each note, you'll notice they're all turning blue and again I just use my arrow key to drag them up so that they're in line. Now my clefs I'm changing to a percussion clef, so select, change the percussion clef. Um, this has caused me to have to reposition again so perhaps change your clef first. Now there's a slight issue here also you can see that there is a rest left in the bar. Now this rest you can turn visible or invisible by simply clicking a V, V for Victor. It actually turns the rest as if it's greyed out. It won't print but you can still see it on the screen. To make this greyed out rest completely invisible you need to select View Show Invisible and it will deselect that particular function and that rest will no longer be visible. That is a successful version of cross staff beaming that I've discovered as a bit of a workaround for those of you wanting to utilize this function in percussion parts. Hope you found that helpful.